gonna jump way up to the sky! Nice job! Boing, 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 good jumping! And safety landing! Excellent job! Safety landing with our knees bent and our arms straight in front of us. Try it again, ready? Boing, 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 boing! Safety landing! One more time! Boing, 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 boing! Safety landing! Excellent job! Can you jump your feet apart and together and apart together? Apart together, apart together, apart together, faster, 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 faster,
we go, everybody. One more time. Top jump, straddle jump, safety landing, and a big. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, that's crash. Next, let's pretend that we're in a high wire act. This is going to take a lot of balance and a lot of concentration. Let's do some really deep breaths to get our focus going. Ready? Inhale. And exhale. Try again. Ready? Inhale. And exhale. One more big, huge inhale. All right. Let's do this. I'm going to step onto the wire. Put one foot a little bit in front of the other like you're on a really skinny piece of rope. Way high in the air. And we're going to put our arms out to the side like this. Keeping your arms still is going to help you balance. All right, ready? Let's see if you can lift up on your tippy toes and come back down. Lift up on your tippy toes. How tall can you be in balance? And come back down. One more time. Lift up on your tippy toes. I have a challenge. Can you slowly circle your arms and keep your balance? Awesome. Back down to flat feet. Great job! Let's try the other foot. Can you put your other foot a little bit in front of the other, like you're walking on a line? And now put your arms really straight out to the side. And we're going to lift up on your toes. Try not to wobble and come back down. Ready? Up on your toes and back down. One more time. Ready? Lift up on your tippy toes. And again, we're going to move our arms. This time you can move your arms however you want. Can you keep your legs super still while your arms are moving around? It's pretty tricky to do. Whew. Nice job. Next, we're gonna take our balance one step further. Can you stand on one leg? Put your toe to your ankle bone. This is called a coupe. See if you can balance without hopping. And bring your toe to your knee. This is called a passe. Nice job and try to hold it for one, two, three. Whew. You guys are great. Try it again. Ready, arms out to the side. Let's do the other leg. We're going to coupe and bring your toe up to your knee. Passe and hold it for one, two, three and back down. Awesome. I have another challenge for you. It goes like this. See if you can coupe. Passe. And now devil pay. Put your legs straight out to the front. And can you hold for one, two, three. Back to your coupe. And down. Whoa. Fantastic. Let's do it again. Ready? Here we go. Coupe. Passe. Straight out to the front. And hold for one, two, three. Passe. Down. That was so great. Let's do a thing. Finish in the bow. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, great high wire act. You guys are incredible. All that balancing made my arms tired. Let's shake them out. Can you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle? And face. Nice. Try again. Ready? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your whole body. And face. Awesome. One more time. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Next, we're going to reach up, make a big X, and can you 
take one hand and touch your opposite knee. Whew, that's pretty tricky. Ready? X and knee. X, knee. X, knee. Great job. Try the other side. Ready? X, knee. X, opposite knee. X, opposite knee. Wow. I have another challenge. Can you X and come down and touch your opposite foot all the way down here? We'll bring both arms down actually. And reach up to the sky and come down and touch your opposite foot. Nice. Next, we're going to bend our arms and pretend we're a clock. Can you tick, tock, tick, tock? I'm a little clock. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I'm a little clock. Woo! Great stretch. I have another balance challenge for you. Your feet in first position. Your heels are going to go together and your toes are going to point out. Then your arms out to the side. I want to see, can you kick one leg so high that it touches your hand? Try it, it's pretty tricky. Ah, nice, nice and gentle. Ah, again, ready? Ah, good, let's try the other side. Here we go. One, two, three. Excellent kicks. Oh man, uh, I'm a little nervous about the, the circus stuff and feeling a little shy and uh, not so confident and a little tired and not really in the mood. Uh, oh no, I'm slouching. I don't know how we can fix this. We gotta do a posture check. Ready? Shoulders up and back and down. Sternum lift. Power. Posture. Yeah. Great job. Oh, oh man. Sometimes when we're feeling down in our emotional state, we can make a change by changing our physical state, our bodies. Let's practice again. Oh, I don't know about this. Let's try it. Power posture. Ready? Shoulders up and back and down. Sternum lift. Power posture. Yeah! Wow! You look great! Next, let's come to a tuck position. Can you put your legs together like this? This is called a tuck. Can you say tuck? Nice job! Now, in our tuck, we're also going to use our imagination to pretend we are doing an incredible circus stunt, the human cannonball. It goes like this. We're going to pretend the cannonball, and we're in the cannon, and we're going to three, two, one, two, blast off through the air in a layout position with your arms straight and your legs tight together as tight as you can. And then we're gonna land it. Ready? Boom. Excellent. And a pose and a big bow. Thank you. Thank you. The crowd goes wild. Let's try it again. Ready? You're in your tuck. We're in the cannon. Ooh. Three, two, one, two. Blast off to your layout position. Fly through the air. And then you're going to land it and finish. Woohoo! And everyone loves it. Awesome. This time, let's just do some of our tucks and layouts. Ready? Tuck, layout. Now can you sit back up to your tuck and layout and tuck and layout, tuck, layout, tuck, layout. Whew! That takes a lot of strength. If it's too tricky, you can your arms out to the side. Let's try it again. Ready? Lay out and tuck and lay out and tuck and lay out and tuck. Wow, you guys sure are strong. Three, two, one, cannonball. of a robot who has fallen and cannot get up. The movement is a little goofy, 
but it's going to help us integrate our ATNR reflex and can amazingly help with the ability to write and read. Let's give it a try. First, you're going to lay on your tummy just like this and look to one side. Then you're going to bring on that same side your knee up to a bent robot position and then bring that arm up to a bent robot position. Now, switch your head and put your robot leg back and your robot arm back. Great job! Now we're going to try the other side. Can you bring your robot leg up and your robot arm up? Now switch your head and put your robot legs down and your robot arms down. That was awesome. We're going to do it two more times. Ready? Head to the side, leg up, arm up. Leg switches, leg comes down, arm comes down. Robot leg up, robot will arm up, head switches. Robot leg down, robot arm down. Awesome, one more time. Ready? Robot leg up, robot arm up. Switch your head. Robot leg down, robot arm down. Robot leg up, robot arm up. Robot head switch, robot leg down, Robot arm down. Help, I am fallen and I cannot get up. Nice. You sit up and bring your legs together and up 
apart, together, apart, together, apart, together. This is called a pike. Can you say pike? Nice job. In a pike, we're gonna reach up way up to the sky and come down and touch your toes. And up to the sky and touch your toes. And the sky, and your toes, and the sky, and your toes, and the sky. Whoa, great job. Next, we're gonna put our arms behind us and can you lift your toes up to the sky and down to the ground. Great job, try again, ready? Lift your toes up to the sky and down to the ground. And up to the sky, down to the ground. I have a challenge for you. Can you lift your toes up to the sky and then lift your arms up to and balance? One, two, three, woohoo! ta -da! Nice job, try it one more time. Arms behind you in your pike position. And now we're gonna lift our toes up to the sky. And then you're gonna reach your arms up. Hey, we look like a letter V. Hold your V seat for one, two, three, and catch on. Nice. What an awesome circus adventure. For the last bit, we are gonna learn how to juggle. You will need three plastic grocery bags. If you don't have any grocery bags, which is great because maybe you've been using cloth reusable bags at the store, you can also use a dish towel or even an old t-shirt. You can pause the video now and have your parents help you get what you need. We're gonna start with one in your hand. Ready? And one bag. Two hands, can you throw it up and catch it? And throw it and catch it and throw it and catch it and throw it and catch it. Great job! Now can you put it in one hand? Throw and catch and throw and catch and throw and catch. Nice! Now try the other hand. Ready? Throw and catch and throw and catch and throw and catch. Awesome! We've got a challenge. Can you go from one hand to the other hand and switch? Can you throw it up and catch it on your foot? Woo! Woo -hoo! Nice! Try it again. Ready? Throw it up and see if you can catch it on your foot. <laughs> Great! This one is extra tricky. You really gotta keep your eyes on the bag. Here we go. We're gonna throw it up. Oh! That was a good throw. Let me try that again. That'd be kind of nice. Throw it up. Do a full turn and catch it. Try it. Ready? Toss it up. Do a full turn in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Now let's try two bags. Pick up another one. It helps if your bags or your dishcloths look different. We're going to have one bag in each hand. See if you can throw it and catch it. Throw and catch. Whoa. Throw and catch and throw and catch. You guys are good at that. That's hard to do. Next, can you make them switch in the air like an X? And again, ready? Switch. And again, ready? Switch. And switch. Nice. We're now ready to try juggling with three bags. We are going to start the classic three ball or three bag cascade pattern. You're going to put two bags in one hand and one bag in the other. This is tricky. It helps if all your bags are different. I have a clear bag, a green bag, and a white bag. And I'm gonna start by throwing my clear, white, green. Clear, white, green. Clear, white, green. Clear, white, green. Oh! Wow, that was awesome. Let's try it again. Put two bags in one hand and one bag in the other. Then you're going to start with the hand that has two and toss one up and keep them coming in an X pattern. 
Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna go free, white, clear. Free, white, clear. Free, white, clear. Free, white, clear. Yeah. <laughs> nice job, you guys. Now make sure you reuse your bags or recycle them. Thanks for joining me today. Let's end with our closing cheer. It goes like this. I am strong. I am smart. Creative. Action. Adventure. Have a great day.